So this is my balcony and welcome. I often sit out here um, just on the cusp of my balcony where I get the doorway where I can be outside and also be somewhat unseen by people, still be like immersed. Um, and it's something like that, that impulse, I think, and what the reasons that underlie why I sit like on the cusp of my balcony are things that have been like kind of on my heart lately and I've been just in a kind of a, a really heavy mood lately um, and so I thought it would be honest and like like I think the kinds of videos on YouTube that make me feel seen or make me feel heard are ones that are really vulnerable and and honest about where the person is at or honest about like their reflection on their life and so I guess I wanted to practice that a little bit, practice that kind of vulnerability that I really value. Um, and so here we are. I normally do this on photo booth, like on my computer. <laughs> Um, and I have like tons of like video journals like this, so I apologize kind of if they're like kind of scattered. Um, I have my notes. <laughs> it's just like stuff like scrawled at the top of the page um, for when I journal after this maybe. Um, but I guess I wanted to like care about why I'm sad. <laughs> so I live with depression. I think I, I've probably said that at least or alluded to it in all of my videos because uh, it is like a really salient aspect of my identity. Um, having like depressive thoughts or depressive patterns of thoughts that aren't so obvious maybe um, or maybe are obvious and I just um, um, I just don't have the insight to see how I present um, and one of the most major things that I struggle with is isolation um, and it's like it's something that I'm becoming more and more aware of and it's becoming like it's, it's becoming more of a moment of like reckoning where I realize that like that's a really dysregulated aspect of me that I spend so much of my time alone and um, and in my mind I'm I'm okay with it I have Peppa <laughs> also this is Peppa this is my uh, purple chili pepper. She's budding. Oh, she's budding a little bit. Some of her peppers are budding. Um, they do need to water her after this. And so, I, I will just say it. I am disconnected from a lot of people, a lot of really important people in my life. Um, in a way that is abnormal, I think, and to me it's normal. And one thing that my therapist has has um, kind of affirmed or like helped me see a blind spot is that it's what I learned. You know, it's um, what that sort of shutting down, that dissociating removing myself, isolating from reality is what kept me safe for a long time in an environment that was really, really unsafe and um, that had no escape. And so it's, um, it's, an, it's sort of like all I know a little bit.
And I think it's fine, like, I think it's fine until moments like this where I sit outside or sit like very close to outside and I'm like listening to sounds, listening to, um, listening to animals, watching people walk, listening to leaves, watching leaves, um, just being I'm trying to be immersed in the world while still being hidden. And I think I realized recently that it's just not, it's not working the way that I hoped. Um, I like, I think I'm trying this weird thing of trying to find a way to be isolated and still find intimacy that's really important to me um, and so like one thing that I do is I like I don't talk to loved ones I don't talk to loved ones for like long stretches of time and in my mind and, and this might be warped let me know in my mind like I, I think about them and I still hold them in my heart um, but I just don't talk to them and so I think in my mind that there's, the love is still there and hasn't been lost. And I think I, I think I, I have liked to say that like quality of time is probably most, is really important to me, but the amount of time isn't for me, like with friendship or with caring for people. Um, and so that's partly protective, a protective way of covering like another aspect of my identity, which is a deep fear of um, being really close to someone or close to people and being like really being myself, um, which is a self that is still very fearful and I swap my dogs. Um, still very fearful and vigilant and like almost waiting to be shut down. Um, I guess I'm fearful of like being the self that I had, that I, that was rejected for a long time and that I, I rejected myself and um, practicing that vulnerability and, and being shut down again um, and again. And I think this is where like my depressed brain comes in because I do have deeply close friends that I that I care about and that care about me and show me that they do accept me for where I'm at. Um, I think that with the way that I see things is that it's like only a matter of time almost that they either will move on to other like loved ones or or that they do have family they do have other loved ones that they do connect with more so there's like a jealousy that comes in there parts of my family and I like the deepest parts of my family and I, we, so like my, and I'll say this now because it's important I guess, my mom, my mom lives with psychosis and I think I'm realizing now like there's like a, a very like visceral aspect of living with someone who's detached from reality or doesn't see their reality, but I think there's also a very like abstract, like emotional aspect of, of living with someone who is also emotionally removed from reality and doesn't see, doesn't always see like their, their impact or doesn't always, isn't aware and doesn't insight into like the impact 
um, of either very intense emotionality sometimes, very intense love, very intense anger, um, and then sometimes like in a really deep way, like nothing. Um, and then I guess I'm I guess I'm scared of finding that nothing again. Um, or finding like that I mean, I don't know if I'll find, I don't know if that is so much of a fear that I have, but it, it's, it's just like a, it's like a deep fear, but it's not as possible, I think, anymore, but I sometimes feel afraid of finding like that, that volatility, that volatile, like intense love and then like intense hatred that my mother felt toward me. Um, it's just people are scary. People are scary, and I just don't, I just don't trust people, and I feel like I'm in a season where I want to trust people, and I want to, I can see it in myself at least, well I see it, I don't want it. I would love to be with Peppa and feel whole from that, or feel <laughs> like contentment, um, but I don't. And I think I try and try and try to do like, you see sometimes in my videos, I'm like, I go to therapy, I go to support groups, I take medication, I do all these things, like all this self work. So I'm like, maybe if I like work, work, work on myself, um, it's okay if I'm alone, because I'm working so hard on building this inner self that I can be alone with. Imagine, that's, I actually love that. Part of me was overwhelmed, and I, you might have seen that, me being overstimulated. Oh, okay. My camera is overheated. And so, I will go. <laughs> but I guess that's like, I don't, I don't think I have a conclusion right now, and it's now 16 minutes in, so I should probably save the rest of my reflection for another time, but that's where I'm at right now, sort of my processing, why I'm in a moody mood, um, is what I call them sometimes, and maybe like, I mean processing helps, um, maybe I'll, like, so my therapist has said, so I told him about this, like, this feeling, sometimes I feel, like right now, this like, deep gratitude and like, emotion, uh, towards my world because it's so different from how I grew up and I'm like wow I get to like exist in a world and see beauty and be safe um, and then I feel sometimes this deep resentment and anger towards aspects of my world and he says that I'm like I'm trying to after like being suicidal for a long time I'm trying I'm in the process of creating a new world um, creating a new world that I that makes sense for me. That's not what he said, but trying to create a new world, and so I guess this is a part of that processing, like what 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 serves me and what doesn't. Um, but I think this is a hard one because it's like really embedded, and sometimes I can't see like that that the way that I disconnect and again like dissociate is unhealthy. 
going to wrap it up. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, Peppa says goodbye. And um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this far.